Greetings and welcome back to Get Fit with Jared. Today, I want to talk about how to purchase your food. In the past, I was big on frozen meals. Uh, I used to think things like the Weight Watcher dinners or the Smart Meals from the frozen food section could uh, help me lose weight. And uh, nowadays, I realize that was very wrong. <laughs> Something my wife and I have been doing when we go shopping is instead of going for the center of the store where you're going to find all your processed foods, I mean, that's where your, your sodas, your chips, things like that are, instead we focus on making a lap around the store. Our local store here, typically when you walk in, you walk into the produce section. Uh, now, we don't buy all organic, though we still try to uh, get the freshest produce we can, so we go to a decent grocery store. When I'm buying produce, I try to not load up too much on any one thing. Uh, I try to get some fruits, so when I want a snack before I work out, that gives me a little bit of sugar for energy, uh, also good for breakfast. Um, typically an apple is about 100 calories, so not too terrible, it's all natural, obviously. From there, once we've kind of gone through, we've gotten our fruits, we've gotten any veggies we need. We do a lot of salad greens uh, for salads because they're easy to make uh, in meal prep for the week. From there, we usually go to the meats section and uh, we try to get what we can freshly packed. Sometimes we get ground beef, sometimes we get ground turkey, uh, chicken. I'm a big fan of using boneless chicken breasts. Um, if you don't have one, I can't recommend enough getting a George Foreman grill. Um, I've got one on Amazon for around $25 and I just throw the chicken on it, wait 10 minutes and you got chicken. <laughs> it's, uh, it makes prepping food easy, especially for a guy like me who hates cooking. We hit dairy. Uh, I've tried to cut back on milk, um, dairy, cow dairy. Um, I've been doing unsweetened vanilla almond milk. It's got good taste, good texture. Uh, it's about 30 calories per cup with the one I get. Goes good if you get some cereal that's not heavy in sugar. Uh, I've been eating rice checks in the morning. It's the only processed food I still eat. <laughs> we do get some frozen stuff. We've got the uh, steaming bag of veggies, which uh, you throw in the microwave for three or four minutes. You have steamed veggies. It's a miracle of modern science. Uh, but the nice thing with the frozen veggies is they're just that, they're frozen veggies. They don't have any additives that you'll find in the smart meals and the things I used to eat thinking I was losing weight. Avoid those, they're very high in sodium, uh, not good for you. But the biggest thing is we make sure we avoid the center of the grocery store. It's best to avoid the temptation. For drinks, uh, avoiding sodas is usually a good deal. I mean, you can't pronounce half of the stuff that's in them. Um, what I've gone to is uh, flavored seltzer, naturally flavored. Uh, there's a lot of brands out there. A lot of store brands actually are pretty good. So the hardest part of losing weight for a lot of people is changing up your diet. Uh, I'm the type of person, if I'm told I can't have something, if I have a bad day, I want what I can't have. <laughs> uh, so it's, it, it's, that's always been a problem in the past when I've been losing weight. This way, by having natural food in the house, I don't have the temptation to grab a, a Little Debbie or some other unhealthy snack and start cramming it in my face. Uh, if I want a snack, I'll grab a banana or an apple. Um, also, when I get home from work, before I work out, that's usually what I go for is a banana or an apple. But by eating cleaner, that's one of the biggest things I've done to help keep the two pounds per week uh, weight loss off. I know on the weeks where I don't eat clean, if I have a day where I decide to do fast food for whatever reason, if it's you know, if I'm out and about and it's the option I have. Um, those days I will definitely see the scale reflect. Um, and that's what processed do food does for you. Your body's not meant to take it in. So it just doesn't know what to do with it. It holds on to it, turns it into fat. I actually have a road trip coming up next weekend uh, that I'm looking forward to. And this is gonna be one of my first road trips since I've started this healthier lifestyle. And I plan to uh, pack lots of fruits and veggies to snack on in the car instead of the chips like I used to take. But that's all I've got this week. Just wanted to do a quick update so everyone knows I'm not dead. <laughs> and I'm still uh, still working. I'm actually about to do my uh, DDP yoga workout for the day shortly. If you haven't tried out the program yet, I would definitely recommend download the app, DDP Yoga Now, do the seven day trial, check it out. It's a great workout, very minimal impact. My joints feel better than they ever have. And until next time.